Hi, I'm Molly Wood from CNET.com, and I'm here to show you how to get started with a Roku digital video player. Okay, first, what the heck is a Roku digital video player? Well, in a nutshell, it's a $99 set-top box that you plug into your TV and your internet connection, and then you can stream Netflix, Watch Now movies or TV shows, or Amazon Video On Demand movies and shows to your television. Now, there's no monthly fee for the Roku box, but you will have to pay for a Netflix subscription and, of course, a la carte for the Amazon Video. But overall, it's a good way to get rid of your cable if you don't mind a slightly small selection. So now that you understand what it does, here's how to set it up. Once you unbox the box, you'll see HDMI, component video, S-video, and composite video ports, as well as a digital optical port and, of course, the standard red and white analog stereo outputs here. If you want your video to look at all decent or you have an HD TV, you will need an HDMI or component cable. Sadly, you only get this standard composite AV cable in the box. However, since the box does have composite and S-video connections, you can hook it up to pretty much any old TV or even a computer monitor as long as it has a TV tuner. You do get batteries for your remote in the box, but be aware that the remote is annoying. To put the batteries in, you have to pinch this and slide it down and then pop it out. And then to get it back in, you can't just slide it straight down. You have to put it back in kind of the same position, not like this, but like this, and then make sure it pops in. It's kind of weird and kind of annoying. All right, time to plug in the box. Now I have an HD TV here, so I am using an HDMI cable. And of course, don't forget the power. Pretty easy. Next, you'll want to connect the box to the internet. You can use ethernet, and that cable is also not included, or it has built-in Wi-Fi, so then you can follow the on-screen instructions for entering your SSID and your password. You press select to begin here. You choose wireless. And of course, it'll look for the wireless network. There we go, so we'll choose CBS Interactive. And you can see it gives you these nice status buttons on the screen here. You just follow the on-screen directions, basically, to search for your access point. All right, we're all set up. Start. Now you're back at the home screen, and we can set up our Netflix options. Now, if you're not a Netflix member, do not bother starting at this screen. You'll select No, Start My Free Trial, and then you'll end up at a screen that tells you to go to your computer. And it gives you this special Netflix.com slash Roku URL for a free trial but it's the same trial that you get from Netflix.com. And when you click continue on that Roku specific page, you just end up at the Netflix homepage. So if you're not a member yet, just become one online before you even bother with the box. If you are a subscriber, click select and then choose yes, activate streaming from Netflix. The Roku box will generate a code once you hit that select button again. And then you can take this code over to Netflix.com slash activate and type it in there. Now, if you run into problems getting your code, you might not be connected to the internet. That happened to me a couple times. If you didn't start with the settings menu, go back to the home screen and configure your wired or wireless connection and then start over. Once you've gotten the code and entered it into the website, then your box should give you this little congratulations message and you are ready to start watching once you put some movies in your instant queue. You have to do that at netflix.com first, which is kind of a pain, but once you add a bunch, you're all set for next time. Okay, that's it for Netflix. The other option on your Roku box is Amazon Video On Demand. These are movies and TV on a pay-per-view basis. Now, once again, before you can start buying or renting, you need a purchase pin from Amazon. So go to amazon.com slash video on demand slash payment settings, which I know is very catchy. Then you choose a five digit pin and click save settings. Now, most movies are about $3.99 to rent and about $14 if you want to buy them. And that's if they're available to buy. TV shows are about $1.99 an episode. Let's choose one here. And now we have to go to amazon.com slash Roku and enter this code so that that is activated as well. Now, whenever you find a movie or TV show you want to rent, you just enter your pin, hit select, and sit back and relax. And there you go. You're ready to dump your cable and live off movies and on-demand TV. Well, you know, once Amazon and Netflix have slightly bigger libraries. But this is a good place to start. For CNET.com, I'm Molly Wood, and you're welcome. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of the CNET Mailbag Show. It's the show where we read all of your email from the ridiculous to the sublime, and we especially like the hater mail. Really. See it in high def at cnet.com slash mailbag.